Hey, my name is Jonathan Clark. I'm going to show you the looper in Live 8. I've got a foot switch that when I hit it, it'll start the loop. And when I hit it again, it'll kind of end the loop and it'll start cycling through. Um, I got my guitar running straight in. And uh, the first thing I'll do is just start with something rhythmic. That'll kind of give me a feel, you know, for the tempo. And then I get, when I'm ready, I'll tap two, three, four. So right now it's an overdub mode. What I can do is uh, I can start layering things on there. Like I can hit it again, and then I'm in just play mode, and you know, I could just like solo, you know, and, and nothing's gonna happen. I'm also free to just not play anything and do whatever, you know? Um, it's really, really cool. Now, uh, one of the cool things about this is now that I have it going, I can turn on the metronome, and it'll be in time. And uh, I've got a little drum kit here, and I've got a little pad control set up um, and so I can you know just start a little clip So I can turn up a metronome, you know, now that I got a beat. I can also adjust, you know, all the levels of all those drums or whatever. Another cool thing I can do is to reverse this. It's got a reverse function. And uh, in my chain here, I've got a little delay, so I can turn that up. And this is before the looper, so what happens if I do it all the way wet, um, let me grab my pick here, and then maybe do some little swell things. Uh, right now I'm in place, I'm going to hit overdub right here to... So you notice we're hearing that in normal time. But if I go reverse it again, then what I just recorded will be reversed. Kind of like how you know Hendrix did like, you know, Are You Experienced and all those old records or whatever. It's pretty rad, pretty rad. Uh, I can also drag this whole clip out of Ableton, out of the looper. I can put it in another track, and then I can pitch that down. I mean, this gets like endless pretty quick, but this is just something real quick. It's pretty rad. Kind of adds some low end to it, you know. Just it's just an octave below. It's the same loop if I were to solo it. It's pretty rad. We we'll put it back in there. So that's just something. Now I had the click going, but that could be something you could route to your in ears, you know, so you could start your whole session up like that. And, uh, you know, maybe you're just playing. It's a little delay on there on the guitar still. You could use effects. I can take that off. You know, I'm still in play mode. You know, now that I got more, more stuff to kind of build, you know, I can start solo maybe.
free to do whatever. You can start singing. You've stolen my heart. Yeah, you've stolen my heart. Get you a jam going. You've stolen my heart. Yes, you have. You've stolen my heart. So anyway, I hope you enjoy. I hope you can do something cool with your band, with your worship team, coffee shop, whatever. Um, Ableton Live, you can do it with a laptop and uh, just a little MIDI controller. It'd be great.